Hello everybody, so today in the class we did hand independence, which is a beautiful door to open on the hand pen, and I will show you a couple of different ways to practice this. Um, so let's take a simple, simple pattern with some textures, a simple rhythm, I should say, a rhythmic pattern, and we go like this, one and two and three and four and one, two and three, and there's eight events here and they're all busy. They're all busy, there's no silence here. And four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and I prefer to count it like that, then you can really feel where your on beats are, where your off beats are. Okay, so we're gonna take every value, and on every single value, we're gonna practice putting our left hand so that we're playing every value with our left, starting with one. One and two and three and four and one and two. Moving on to one and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And onwards we go to two. muscles right so that so that the hands are not always right, it's hand in independence that's what it's called otherwise you know if it's right left right left right left right left right left right left or you know this kind of stuff also great super important to know to understand what that is uh, but with the hand independent stuff you have a little bit more freedom um, to move your melody around independent of your of your rhythm right independent of your percussive aspect which which we do on the right why do we do it on the right well traditionally from the frame drum right we play right and then the left will make ornaments uh, but that's not the only way if you want to switch this up and do it on the left one and two and three and four and one and two and it's also super great to train both of your hands in this way uh, so, and then you would practice this onwards and upwards all the way to one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and. You can do this with any rhythm, with any pattern. Let's take, for example, um, one, two and three and four and one and two and three and. So this one has a bit more silence, a bit more space in it. One and two and. But we still know where that space is. That's still a rhythmic quality. And two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Oops. One and two and three and four. And if you mess up like that, you just stop, figure it out. Get the count going nice and slow. You might need to slow down. One and two and three. And then when you feel it, you can speed up again. One and two, three and four and one and two and three and four to two, two and and three and four and one and two and whoops. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. So maybe I want to slow down a little bit, really integrate it. One and two and three and four. One. And it helps a lot to count with yourself as well. Then you know exactly where the values are. Moving on to three. One and two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. 
two and three and five. that's my personal favorite one and two and three and and very groovy Four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four. And don't do this when you're playing that. Don't wait for. Don't wait for where that thing is and then rest all the while. It's a dance, right? So keep yourself activated. Keep your energy activated. One and two and. Four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. Boom. So it's a really, really cool practice, really fun practice, or it could be potentially fun where you're not just counting in this technical space, you're marrying technique and play together. Um, and I recommend that you do and work your hand in the pendant muscles.